Jeffening is proud of her fire department. It too has its interesting story to tell. Fordney Volkmer, retired chief for 25 years of service, is well qualified to tell us some of its interesting stories. Where's Fordney? Oh, here he is. Come on right up here, Fordney. Well, I don't know how interesting this is going to be to all it has been to me, <laughs> but uh, I was asked to give uh, uh, an idea about when this department was organized and when it started. And to uh, the best of my ability, our records show that uh, Mr. Louis Adelman moved into Chesning from uh, Ohio, and uh, he proceeded to... Uh, organized this department because he was a fireman down there. And uh, this took place approximately uh, the beginning of the century, about 1899 or 1900. And uh, Mr. Adelman had a very good department. He had uh, a uniform department. He had men that were practiced uh, very, uh, very well schooled on um, fire in his day. <clears throat> they knew how to use an axe, and they knew how to use a bucket of water, and they knew how to get it there. And uh, this uh, was all uh, moved on after machines came in, and your uh, motorized departments, the old hose carts, and, uh, and uh, hand pumpers were gone. So they had to come to something new. But when they got the new trucks, there was a new form of training had to uh, be achieved. Well, uh, we had a pretty fair department. After Mr. Adelman uh, left the department, why, uh, Mr. Omer Ketchum was chief. And uh, he came in with the uh, motor division because he was a natural mechanic and uh, done a very good job for a number of years. And... Uh, the trucks that they had those days were Model T's and 490 che Chevrolet's and <laughs> things of that nature. But they got there. And uh, they did have some troubles, but uh, they did a fine job for what they, they had to work with. We all figured they need a, a lot of praise back in those days. Because uh, when I stopped to think of some of the men that were on the department when I uh, went on myself to see how they used to do this work with an axe. They were artists, where uh, they could get to the fire, and us uh, people of our day didn't know even how to get to it, because they, they knew how to get there. They used the axe. And uh, this uh, led up to uh, Mr. A or Mr. Uh, Ketchum, takes us clear up to the time that Mr. Brigham was appointed chief. Uh, during the beginning of the war, they didn't have anybody that uh, could handle the chief's job right at that time, and uh, Mr. Ketchum didn't want to work at this any longer. He'd been at it a number, number of years, and uh, the pay was just uh, a little bit low at that time. The men got one buck a run, and uh, that was to clean their suits. But uh, they could fight all night for that. So Mr. Brigham, or Mr. Bill Brigham, at uh, work down to Pizza's, was in the boiler room down there in Foreman. He he was chief for a couple of years, and uh, as shortly before he passed on, he uh, decided that he didn't uh, care to handle the job any longer. Well, that's when the uh, council came to me, and uh, I found out that they just handed it to me because I was a mechanic. They said, that's what we need on the fire department. But uh, I found out very shortly after I laid awake about a week nights that uh, a mechanic wasn't what it took to run a fire department. You had to know what you were doing. And all these gentlemen who were on that department were old enough to be my dad, and I was supposed to be the boss. And it uh, gave me kind of a funny feeling. So uh, I uh, was fortunate enough to meet a captain from a wassail that came in and uh, gave me quite a lot of instruction 
on uh, fire. He was uh, selling uh, equipment on the side. And he said, you need some help? And I said, I sure do. So he came up and he trained our men and we had some wonderful meetings. And our men, uh, the fellows that I figured were my dads, they, they took right a hold and they learned a lot. Well, in, the, in this past years, our department has uh, advanced a long, long way. We have an awful lot more protection than we ever had in uh, all of the years. We are uh, affiliated with every department in the county. If we need help in this village at this minute, we can have trucks here from 21 departments, any number of men we want. And that includes the city of Saginaw. So we have a lot of protection. We have uh, the association, the Saginaw County Firemen's Association. Uh, I was uh, one of the uh, charter members of this organization. And our men, since I have retired, Richard Raymond has done a real good job running the department. He, st he has stayed with these uh, different uh, organizations. We have a chief's organization and a detective, fire detective's organization, and uh, our county organization, we all, all of these things meet about once a month. And it is uh, very uh, advantageous to the village to have all of these things to help us in preventing fires. Our arson group and all of those that Rich takes very good care of. Well, I don't want to take up a lot of time because I could stand here for hours, but uh, I have some pictures back on the table, and I have some other things there that if anybody's interested, there's a lot of people on there you'll probably know. And I've got some other stuff here I'll put out on the table. Uh, the helmet, the, the dress hat that's back on the table was given me by Amy Waldron. Now, Ed Waldron, I did know Ed real well, and uh, they wanted me to have that hat, and I've left it with the department. I went down and got it tonight to have it to show. And I also have the original helmet that Mr. Adelman had when he started the department here in town back in those days. I have that here tonight. And uh, I don't want to take a whole lot more time. Uh, and thank you very much. And I think I'll turn this back to Norm. Okay, thank